Hey there, it's Carrie from the Writing Center. And in this video, I am going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, APA style headings. And I'll give you some tips for creating headings and demonstrate how to add headings to your paper. Uh, so generally, when you're creating a project in APA, if it has, if the project itself has more than one paragraph, you are supposed to include headings. Most of the time, the projects that students complete here at Western, uh, they really all that's ever used are what are called level one headings. So if you think about an outline, there are various levels in an outline, and the longer the outline, the more the levels. Usually, most projects here just use level one. So that's what I'll be showing you today. But if you need to use multi-level headings, you can either check the APA website, or you can reach out to the Writing Center and we will help you do that. So let's assume that you've already created your title page and you are ready to start working on your project. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the second page of my project because remember, our title page is a separate page and our actual written project will begin on page two or like the next new page after the title page. And so we're going to create headings that will ultimately appear ahead of and or sort of on top of each new paragraph in our project. The first heading and the last heading are typically very easy for you because in general, they are always introduction and conclusion. So what you have to come up with are the wording for the headings for kind of the body of your project or the body of your paper. Um, in terms of how we set our headings up, you know, anytime we type text, we generally want our text to be aligned to the left-hand side of the page. But headings, just like our title for our project, are going to be centered and they're going to be in bold. So the, the actual paragraphs will not be centered and will not be in bold, but our headings will be. So I'm going to go ahead and set my alignment to centered again, and I'm going to turn on bold. And again, for my first paragraph, pretty easy, one word, introduction. And for my last paragraph, pretty easy, one word, conclusion. But what I need to come up with now are the headings for the other paragraphs in my project. And so I would really recommend that you wait to create headings until you have a really good idea of what you are going to include in your paper. Very often, if you are doing a research paper, which is a really common assignment with APA, you'll gather your research. And after reading your sources, you'll start to notice some common themes or some common ideas or topics that are talked about in multiple sources. And that's a really good indication of something that should probably become a heading because you're ultimately gonna to try to compile similar ideas from your sources under similar headings. So let's just take, for example, I'm doing a research paper on sleep disorders. And so I have gone out and I found my research on you know, different studies on sleep disorders and different experts writing about their knowledge of sleep disorders or what they've observed. And I'm compiling all of that into a research paper. So I'm gonna have an introduction and then I'm probably gonna find some sort of common themes and some typical common themes might be something like, um, You know, I, I probably read a lot of these articles talked about symptoms of sleep disorders. So maybe that's going to be one of the areas that I talk about in my paper. I probably found multiple sources that talked about the causes of sleep disorders. And ideally, You know, you don't want to be too negative. Hopefully, I found some that talked about the treatment of sleep disorders. And maybe that's my entire paper. I'm going to first, you know, report on what these experts say about the symptoms. Then I'm going to have another paragraph that talks about the causes. And then ultimately, I'll have a paragraph that focuses on what can we do to treat sleep disorders. 
if I'm doing this, I'm probably going to, you know, have an intro and a conclusion and then three sort of lengthy body paragraphs that include all of my outside research. Just want to note that um, you do not have to have three body paragraphs. You could have two, you could have four, you could have six. Really, the assignment that you're doing, um, what your instructor requires, and ultimately your research and your findings are going to lead to um, kind of developing some main ideas, and they're going to kind of inform you of how many main ideas that you will have and how many body paragraphs. A couple last notes about formatting our headings. Typically, headings are anywhere from one to five words long. So they you shouldn't be writing a complete sentence for a heading. They're more like a bullet point. And the goal with the heading is that it just gives the reader a really cl clear, quick idea of what kind of evidence they're going to find in the paragraph that follows. So it kind of helps a reader who might just be skimming and really just wants to know about causes, they can look at your heading and they can zero in on that part of your paper. Um, so again, like anywhere from one to five words, doesn't mean you could never have six, but in general, um, headings are pretty short. Like I said, they're bullet points. In terms of capitalization, they follow traditional capitalization rules where we capitalize all of the important words. So the only words we don't capitalize are words like, um, uh, and the, or prepositions like of, um, in uh, conjunctions like and or of. Otherwise, all important words would be capitalized. So that is our formatting for our heading. And then again, once I was ready to actually start typing my introduction, I'm going to go back and I'm going to undo my centered alignment, set my alignment back to the left. I'm going to take off my bold font and I'm gonna start typing my introduction and I will do the same thing for each of my paragraphs that follow. So that is how you set up headings in Word 365 using APA 7 format. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions or need further help, please don't hesitate to reach out to us in the Writing Center.